This video will briefly show you the brand new timeline feature to Altia Design 12. Now, over here in Navigator, we have a mixture of 2D, 3D objects. Uh, one 3D object, which is this car here, and one warning box, which is really just a background image down here, if I scroll down, and two textiles, line one and line two, for the warning message. So what I want to do is scroll this up and maybe fade it in whenever the car doors open. And we have some defined animations on this 3D object for opening the doors and rotating it and all that good stuff. So let's just say that the code needs to be able to open the doors and then show a door a jar warning. Well, of course, the doors would have to open from that animation. But then let's just uh, show you how quick and easy it would be to make timeline animations for the additional things. So you can see it's off the screen now down here. We can just take this and group it to make a new animation in edit mode and then in timeline you can see add new animation so we'll call this ring box y pause and now you can see we've got a keyframe here or a list of available keyframes so at position I'm just going to expand this and choose y position and say frame 0 starting point click that that will set a key at that point and then we can come down here and just like we could before a timeline, you can you know, drag and drop and where you might um, you know, click warn box and set a state here and press define in 11x and earlier. Now it's as easy as just choosing your state up here in the slider and actually clicking on the diamond to create a keyframe there. So you don't have to manually type in numbers and hit define and stuff like you did with previous versions. Now with the timeline, it's a much more visual interface. Um, just like with previous versions of Altia Design, you can rename your groups here in Navigator, but you do want one animation per group when you're talking about 2D animations. So let's go ahead and call this the opacity animation. And what we're going to do is call this warning box opacity. Right? And we're going to define a keyframe at frame 100 because it is 100% opaque right now. And this is under visibility. So you just press the diamond and then you type zero and up here with the opacity type in zero and then press the diamond again to define a keyframe there and you've just defined an opacity so now your C code can talk to both these animations by name and you know bring it up onto the screen but also fade it in and out as it comes up if you'd like or you know pulse it as a different animation okay um, we won't get into the details here in this video, but we do have various interpolation methods as well. And so um, you could make it come in with a bounce or some sort of fade in, fade out. All right. So let's talk about how those two would be combined. Well, as we've, you've seen from other videos, all Altia animations are driven by name and just pass the state and code. So your code could say when you know doors are opening. This is another animation name. If doors are 100, say that's the max state of this, spawn a um, motion of y pos and opacity. And so you're seamlessly blending 2D and 3D objects on the same screen with LT Design 12 and visually defining and using or previewing, I should say, your animations here in the new LT Design 12 timeline.